All right, so carbon monoxide emissions for a certain kind of car vary with a mean 2.9 gallons per mile and a standard deviation of 0.4 gallons per mile. The company has 80 of these cars in its fleet. Well, that Y bar represents the mean CO level for the company's fleet. Okay, so whenever we have a normal model <coughs> that has a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma, Okay, the sample distribution will have the same mean mu with a standard deviation of sigma over the square root of n. So, and as long as the sample is large enough, it's going to be normally distributed. And we talked about it as long as it's around 40-ish. So this is 80-ish. So what's the mean? Well, the mean is going to be, we're going to have a normal model with a mean of 2.9. And the standard deviation is going to be 0.4 divided by the square root of 80. And if you do 0.4 divided by the square root of 80, you get uh, 0.045. So you're going to have a normal model. We don't know if this is normal, okay? We don't know if the original one was normal. I'm just using this as an example, okay? But what we do know is that this is going to be normally distributed with a mean of 2.9 and a standard deviation of 0.045, okay? So now we've got to estimate the probability that, that the mean is between, uh, the mean of all of these 80 cars is between 3.0 and 3.1, okay? Well. Let's let's do a z score uh, for 3.1 and a z score for 3.0. And uh, if we do those two z scores, you get uh, 4.444 and 2.222. Okay. So, this would be a z-score of 0, this would be a z-score of 2.222, and over here would be a z-score of 4.444. So we want to know if the mean of this entire fleet is somewhere in that area. Well, how do we do that? Hopefully you remember. Second distribution, norm CDF, go from 2.22. 4.444. If you do that, you get 0 0.013. Okay, so this is 0 0.013. Okay? So there's like a 1.3% chance that the mean of all 80 of those cars, the mean output of all 80 of those cars is between 3.1 and, uh, or 3.0 and 3.1 miles per, uh, or gallons per mile, whatever it is, grams per mile. Okay, and C, uh, there's only a 5% chance that the mean fleet's mean CO level is greater than what value? Okay, well, that means that the mean of the fleet is in the top 5% here, so that's 0.05, right? Well, if I go from left to right and I get to this mark right here, what's that? Well, that's the 95th percentile. So that's the 95th percentile. I got to turn that into a Z score. So go to my calculator. Say, okay, calculator, inverse norm of the 95th percentile. The calculator says it's 1.645. So this is Z equals 1.645. So now I do my Z score backwards. So I'm going to do 1.645 equals some value minus the mean over the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Okay, so we multiply 1.645 times 0.045 and you get like 0.074.025 equals x minus 2.9. And then you add 2.9 to both sides and you get... Uh, like 2.974. So if the mean of the fleet is 2.974 uh, miles per gram, 
grams per mile or greater, then it's in the top 5% in that uh, sampling distribution.